That was so, so brilliant. Uh, anyway, if you're following us, uh, again, on Kwame No Power Weeks, welcome to Lena Panorama. Well, you're watching uh, 22 years old librarian Raquel Hajj, spelled H-A-G-E. And so far, this is the girl who gave that jaw-dropping performance just days ago. I mean, just days ago, at the Samuel Kayando Sports Complex. Here she is on the panorama to talk about how it all started. But first, let's get into her bio and talk about who is Raquel Hash. Raquel, welcome to Lena Panorama. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. And uh, I mean, people watching the show already, uh, maybe uh, uh, close to 600 plus persons already watching. Uh, but let's talk about you as a person and your upbringing. Let it go. Well, Before we get to the, what put you out in the spotlight because you're the, you're, the, you're the next thing now to slice bread in the country. Everybody's talking about you. So, so let's go. Well, I grew up um, with my mother and father um, at red light that's why they call Mr. Hash schools all of those people who are familiar with the Painesville side mm -hmm. uh, they always say Mr. Hash stool, Mr. Hash stool. I grew up right in red light so in red light the controversial red light now yeah <laughs> so. yeah actually I grew up right there like so just growing up like a regular Liberian kid and that's what shocked me mm-hmm mm-hmm we used to walk to school. We used to walk to William Booth because we were in a Salvation Army at the time. Mm -hmm. So we used to walk across the street and go right down the street to school. You know, um, I grew up with a typical Liberian parent, like my mother. She used to teach me how to cook. You know, um, that's one of, aside from singing, what I do best is cooking. Cooking. Yeah, and people kind of never want to believe that. Right, because <laughs> to see to see a very as beautiful as you are, twenty two, to be like cooking. And there's something you don't know. I dog behind you. I know you have four dogs. <laughs> I had to do my research. I know you got you got four dogs, and you cook well. And you somebody you're kind of let's say. I call you a house furniture. Sorry to say, it, but like you don't go nowhere. No, I was I, shocked when I saw you singing. A lot of people around me, oh, they just thought they brought a second P square to the. <laughs> <laughs> no, and talk I talk about I, that. I, I, you know, I moved back to Liberia since 2018, and um, I've been, I've been here, but people don't usually see me out. 
and that's because I I I find pleasure in other things, you know, like staying home. I do a lot of cooking for the family, mm -hmm. uh, take care of my dogs. I love them to death. I love them so much, <laughs> you know, and most of the time I take pictures. I kind of update my page maybe with some content. So I would wake up one day, just do my makeup, mm -hmm. sit there, look pretty for the camera. Um, I even one time, I think it was, it's been about a year now when, um, from Hot FM, they came over, you know, we went to the market. At your place? Yes, we did a whole show where we went to the marketplace, you know, I bought some cassava leaves in the market, put small vat to the bar, oh my damn. You know, went home and cooked basa jama at the house. You speak vibe? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> let's, let's hear your vibe before we go back. Right? Yeah. Ah. And guys, uh, hold your thought. Guys, this interview will be interactive. So if in, if you in case you want when we get to a point you can hit the call button and then uh, we will bring you on and then you will interact with, uh, with 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 Raquel again this will be interactive so that's why we're going you know the vertical view so go ahead yes yeah, so then we went back to the house I cooked some cassava beef for them they tasted it according to them the food was very nice. And yeah, it, it was like a replay thing that we always play on Hot FM. Mm -hmm. were, yeah. were you cooking from scratch? Yeah, I was cooking from scratch. That's that was the whole point because we went to the market, down to the dry meat, the cassava leaf, everything we bought it there, and then I went home, cooked. And why I'm trying to set this premise uh, about you, your local girl, yeah. and all of that because a lot of people this will put that, that particular rumor aside that you were not imported into the country to no, do no, this you're a, you're a local girl yeah, talk about yeah, your yeah. tribe and speak a little bit vibe and then we're gonna go there we still gonna i get that people then like <laughs> it means like when you're giving me headache too much because they always look at me and uh -huh. just assume i'm not liberian mm -hmm. or maybe i'm based in america mm -hmm. which before I conclude, I only spent four years of my entire life in America. In the U.S.? Yes. That is when you went to school? That's when I went to school. Okay. But I live here. Like, this is my home. So, I'm, I'm half Lebanese, but my mother is bi, so I'm Liberian. So, forget about the light complexion. I am a bi girl. So, I tend to get that a lot, like, oh, Fange, where are you coming from? Or what's going on? I'm like, no, I'm Liberian. And you can hear the accent. Right. If I want, especially when I go to, to foreign ministry and they're telling me to go for oath of religious, the last Liberian English can come out. <laughs> I like it, what happened here? <laughs> okay. And, uh, and uh, okay. And, 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 and so, so talk about uh, 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 your upbringing. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I stayed here just you know I went to to JJ Roberts. Mm -hmm. I graduated from JJ Roberts in 2012. Okay. Right here on 12th Street. Um, it was nice because we always had this thing where like time for back to school jam and stuff. I would always perform there. Mm -hmm. My pe people that went to school with me like JJ Roberts, they know that I've been singing since then. I've been singing since way back. And it's always been my dream. Even though I wanted to go to school and get an education, mm -hmm. I always wanted to be a singer. So, I always wanted to be a singer. So, um, you know, I graduated from J.J. Roberts. From there, I moved to America to go to school. And then right after I graduated 2018, I came back here. I've been here ever since. I got into the music industry here. I did a collaboration with Bucky Raw. Um, that was one of my hit songs, like the typical local Liberian like, song we want to hear. Because most of the time, when you listen to my songs, I kind of do like formal songs, like mm -hmm. "I am so strong, stronger than the waves of the sea." Wow, <laughs> you sing like a nightingale. You know, right, right. You sing like a nightingale. So I write talk, talk those about, lyrics. Oh, you, know? you write your own. Yeah, I okay. write those kind of lyrics. So when what, I did what the, inspires your songs? Um, sometimes. Is it like you're playing with your one of your four dogs, and I know those dogs take up all your time. And uh, how do you how do you write? Like how did you come up to say, let me just do the national anthem? 
Well, this is something you knew nothing about. No. How you were picked. You had, I mean, it was just out of the blue. And we're going to get to that part. But what inspires your song so, writing? So, like, for example, um, it could be different things. It could be some producer sends me a nice beat and I'm sitting and I'm listening to the, the music will carry me and will make me want to write. Mm -hmm. Or I could be driving alongside a road, see one Omar roasting plantain or something, and I start talking about life. Life is not fair. You can pass, see one minister in a big Jeep. He's, you know, 100% rich. He's everything. He's comfortable. Then you see a poor lady on the street roasting plantain and selling grumpy, and you like, you know, life is unfair or something like that. That's how okay. the song I was just singing, that's mm -hmm. how I wrote that song. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's The lyric says, blame it on the pain, but no mountain is too high, no river is too wide, you know, um, but I'm strong, I can conquer anything, no matter what life throws at you. Just remember that you should keep pushing, you should you should keep going. Because, for example, uh, it's been two years, I haven't dropped any music. All of a sudden, I dropped out my music video dance. People started talking about it. Yeah, the one, I mean, a couple it. of days ago. Yeah, it's about a, 10 It's days. almost 10K plus now on YouTube. Views, yeah. That's a lot. And you know our country is small. I don't have the kind of big platform you have, so I'm like... With my, I have one subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> From today, you're gonna. And guys, uh, like I said, uh, this this interview is gonna be interactive. If you have a little concern uh, uh, with Raquel, you can always you can always uh, you know uh, just hit the hit the call button, and then we will pick you up. I see there are people already in the queue waiting uh, 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 to do to do just that and uh, test test all of you watching uh elsa upset says uh, so gifted and pretty yaheta dixa you are so beautiful okay so we're talking and then uh, uh um you get this call that you are to perform the national atom at the bar centennial so for there will never be another bar centennial, right? <laughs> and so now you, it's going down. You got, every, going. you got your set of hitters who doesn't know you or who don't know you, rather. And you have those who admire, you know, uh, 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 the way you, you, you know, you put, you sang that song. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone had that goosebump, including myself. Right. And you came, so, it was very powerful. So I received, first of all, if you listen to the whole clip, it mm -hmm. did not start with Oh Hill Like You Are Hill. It did not start with the National Atom. Right. It started with lyrics. They gave me lyrics. And if you hear the history that I had to sing, because it says 200 years of the founding of our country's history. Mm -hmm. Imagine they send you this bunch of just bookish stuff and say, sing it. You can't tell me to sing 200 years of the founding of our country's history, 200 years, mama like, we were, let's celebrate, let's do unity, da 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 plenty of things. Mm -hmm. So I'm here freaking out like this thing is in four days, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do. Then the live band, I wasn't even in the country, they had to fly me to come, I, I mean. No way. Yeah, because, so for now, I live here, but I'm always out, in and out, going to record music in Nigeria. I, mostly in nigeria so i left two weeks ago i'm like but before i left if they would have told me mm -hmm. i wouldn't have even gone out of the country in the first place so they gave me this big 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 long difficult lyrics and they want me to sing it that's how you can hear in the beginning 200 years of the founding of our country's history Liberia, our mother's land. Then it comes. So let us celebrate our bicentennial for unity. So, so let us celebrate. I had to like take mm -hmm. the lyrics and sing the lyrics. Wow. Yeah. 200 years bicentennial. From 1822 to July 26, 1847. Our independence, so let us celebrate for unity, for unity, peace and prosperity, 
Mama Liberia, sweet land of liberty. So, all of this, you know, it wasn't like they gave me playing instrument or anything. They just said, go and sing it. So I received a letter from the Minister of Information, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ledger Rennie. Right. Saying they, they are asking you from the president, you know, president, ex excellency is asking you to come and sing the national anthem and I'm freaking out. Because they send me these long lyrics that I have to sing before. Oh, hill Liberia, hill. So I said, wow, it is an honor. I will serve my country. I will serve my country with every breath in my body. So wow. I will do it. That's, that's patriotism right Yes, there. I am a patriotic lady. I'm patriotic to the core. Because if you notice most of my videos, I don't know if you've seen them, you'll see me with either the like green flag. Even um, they sent me like, they said you have to take pictures, do photo shoot with the like green flag. Now, because I wasn't here, I only went for a week though, but I had to cut the trip short to come back because of this. Mm -hmm. So, um, I already had, thankfully, I always travel with my flag. You That's, travel with a Liberian flag yeah, on you all the time? All the time. It's always in my carry-on suitcase. It's either that or it's the scarf, the red, white, and blue. You know those little scarves? You, you, make me, you make me, I'm stunned. Seriously? Because when you watch the internet, Raquel, and you're going to get to your part. You watch the internet, you see um, the level of hate to the point. I don't know what Liberia did to some other Liberians. They just hate this country. They talk trash about the country. Maybe because, so, I don't know from what angle they, they talk, they trash their country down. And to see you, you spent all your time here in this country besides those four years that you went out for to get your degree in psychology and you came back for your love for country. Right, right, right. And you're saying that because everywhere you went, you went with a Liberian flag. And people ask what is me, it about this country that I mean it is it is my country. Do you know there is no other African country like Liberia? There is no other country like Liberia, period. You can go to all the fancy places you remember home. Like, they say, oh, you got a degree in America, why you didn't stay there to work? Work for what? I'm not accustomed to that lifestyle. I like to be here. For example, the day before I went to the show, mm -hmm. my Liberian flag, the, the little red, white, and blue belt that I had on, mm -hmm. it ripped. Guess who? Guess who came with small needle and thread to fix it? Who? The old man down the street. That's beautiful. That wow. is beautiful. You can't get that in America to tell me, okay, ma'am, I'm going to send it to the dry cleaners. Nobody got time That's for that, that right four now. Days. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got time yeah. for that. The station in the dry cleaner, the Korean woman will tell you, say, come get it to, uh, after <laughs> tomorrow. The woman just brought her lame needle and thread. She sent a ball, get white thread in less than 15 minutes. I stood out that she did it and I gave her a small thing. Like, that's how it is. I love it. I love it. I will wake up, I will send some, you know, I'll, uh, I have some, my mom raised a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. We have people that will come cook for us sometimes. Like, you say, oh, today I feel like eating wallow. All those ha-ha soup things. Uh, you know, people can usually cook wallow every day. Now they will yeah. cook cassava leaves or dry rice. So when you want to eat so more and stuff, you call it, they come. That's just the culture. It's so beautiful. we're trying to add a breather to this interview. And uh, 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 if, if we were lucky to get Alberta in, I don't know what would be her question. And guys, you're, you're, when, when you come in, you can just ask your question. Uh, you can ask uh, uh, Raquel any question you want to ask her. Uh, Alberta, uh, okay, I don't know why she hit that, and, but then she later on uh, declined. So we're going to go to Christiana and see if we can ask Christiana and see what is Christiana's concern. But while we're waiting for her, um, Let so me try to share she's connecting. Christiana is connecting. Christiana, how are you? I'm okay. And you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, uh what your, what's your question to Raquel? I'm uh, uh, following her life, and I want to appreciate her ever so much. You know, the great thing about the Liberian is we all need to love our our noble country, Liberia where we found ourselves built on a Christian principle. No matter what the situation is, there is nowhere at home. So even if we travel to America, to the great Egypt, any other country, 
we should always mm -hmm. remember that all here from the same country. You know, there is no work they can. Absolutely, I admire her that every country she traveled to, she always carry the Liberia flag. That is the simple yeah. that she healed from Europe. So I appreciate her ever so much. And I want, I encourage every Liberian to follow the full step. This is our home. Whether we get master, PhD, whatsoever, we should also come back to make our countries a better place to be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, 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 you want to respond to Alberta? Yes, Alberta. Uh, thank you so much. You know, your comments are positive and it's going to encourage me. At least you admire that. You know, I will always remember that and I will remember the name as well. So thank you so much. A lot of positive comments. You talk about almost close to 900 persons here watching. Uh, Joanna Washington Davis say, I love you, dear. Great job. Thanks. And so far. I know you're only 22, but it's a dumb question, and it's not a dumb question. Any kids? You're married? Planning to get married? <laughs> I mean, these are questions that no uh, kids, people no will kids, ask. No kids. I will have kids hopefully in the next five years. Five years. That's a long time, but for now, my kids are my, I have dogs, so take care of <laughs> That's going to be a controversial statement, right? <laughs> She's like, <second. laughs> look at you. Okay. Let's uh, 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 let's try. What's funny is when they told me to do photo shoot for that video, mm -hmm. I already had the flag, so it was easy for me to just go to the studio, take you know wear care and and do it. Otherwise, how would I have done the photo shoot with the flag? Right. So you, it, it, it was already with you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, honey, baby, said no one loves but will speak out when things are not right. And uh, yeah, it's true. But when somebody says, uh, when you turn it, you know, for most of them for Liberia is just a bad place. There are people, like I was showing Brenda more this morning, people just felt that, they just feel that, you know, it's raining fire in this country, you know, and, and all of that. So we're adding uh, uh, what her name there and see what happened. While we're waiting uh, from there, uh, Josephine Ward is watching from Delaware. Majorette is also, she says, you're beautiful. Leona Boba said, Mr. Weiss, if she's not married, I like her. I'm willing to marry her. That's Leonardo F. Bobor. Uh, uh, Nuniho said, hello, my name is Seno Gofel. I'm falling from the resident in Kawa, I cannot be a part of the show. So if you want to be a part of the show, just hit that button. I'm going to get you on. Let's get to Joanna Washington, if uh, maybe she can answer. And then we're going to come back so you can talk about your four little puppies. Then give their names and so forth while we're waiting. Uh, hope we can get Joanna, but uh, stop talking about them. Yeah, okay, okay. So Joanna, Joanna is on, so let's go, let's go to Joanna. Joanna, how are you? Come up to the phone. To the, hi, to the phone hi, like hi, hi, how are you? Can Have you get up? Let's see your face, Joanna. Good job. Uh, I'm not too Thank well. I'm lying in my bed. But yep. Uh, yep. I'm so yep. touched. Yep. It's been a long time since I heard a Liberian so patriotic like this. Uh, we've, oh, we always on social media and we hear about so much hate, so much anger so much politics. I listened to the song during the by Satania and that was wonderful. I was like, who is this? Sweet, lovely voice. And today I was just lying down. I came from work so early, I'm not well. But then I started to mm -hmm. go through my my notification and then I saw the the live on. I said, let me just look at it live. Came on time until I fall asleep. And then I saw that, I said, but let me wash it. Normally, I just don't wash to waste my data sometimes. But then I saw that I couldn't start watching. <laughs> so I'm so glad. I'm so excited. Wow. I'm happy that our young people can do something different. Our young people can do something to make our nation, our country right. proud. And uh, Mr. Weeks, I want to also say thanks to you. There's a lot of good things that you do. I do follow you and watch some of your videos and some of the work that you are doing. I'm so grateful. Oh. And I'm glad that uh, you guys are doing this. And Raquel, 
I just want to say, continue what you're doing. You're on the right trajectory. Don't allow anybody to discourage you. Don't allow any hate to disappoint you because as Liberians, once it's not us that is doing it, we have everything wrong to say about it. But I'm glad that the wow. the, the, the different comments that we're getting are so positive. We need to learn how to love our own. No how dirty, how dangerous we are. If we don't decide to make it different, we'll continue to be what we are and we'll continue to praise other country and we'll continue to love to be in other people's country that will never be ours because there is no work like home. I went to school in Ghana. I was there for 15 years. After I graduated from Legon, I said, I must come home. I wanted to be in my country. I wanted to contribute to my nation. So there is so much... Right. Positive about positivity about you that I love, and I'm going to follow you. I don't know what's your name on so Instagram. Much. I need to go on the different social platform right to now, follow you and right support now, you. So Thank you. So she wants to know your. Thank you so so Raquel very much. Hash. I, I, I will just follow. I will find you. R a q u e l. Okay. I think that's what I okay. saw. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. So, so respond to uh, Joanna. What do you say to her? Joanna, thank you so much for those very nice words. You know, I appreciate it because she also said she went to school in Legon and she came from there here. It's very rare for you to see us. Like when we go out and we have the opportunity to come back to our country, it all means right. a lot, you know. So I'm glad I'm not the first one and I'm listening to that. You know, it's good. Thank you again, um, Sir Kwame, because like when we come on shows like this mm -hmm. and we have interaction with other people, just regular Liberians, right. you know, it's also encouraging to hear things like this. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so Precious is saying Liberians are amazing people. We just need to be united and love our country no matter what. Josephine is saying uh, how I understand uh, why you are so eloquent, University of Legon. We will move forward, my sister. We just joined in the program. Uh, who is Raquel? That's Benjamin uh, uh, wanting to know. Who is Raquel? Raquel is an artist, uh, an Afro-pop artist. Raquel was the one who did the national anthem at the Samuel Kayando Sports Complex just days ago with that jaw-dropping performance, you know, that had goosebumps on everyone as she was performing. So earlier, I was asking for you to talk about your puppies. Yeah, so my first puppy name is Ini. That's by for beautiful. Ini, Ini, Ini. It means beautiful in vibe. In vibe. Yeah, the second one, name is MK. That's the mother dog. Then there is Ranger. <laughs> yeah, Ranger, that's a dog name. The Ranger is... you. She's very tiny. You would think she's a big dog, but my brother wanted that dog when they had her. Then somebody went and gave him a Rottweiler baby. And he neglected Ranger with me because he felt like Ranger was too small. She can't grow. So now I'm stuck with Ranger. Wow. And finally, the last one, the male dog, his name is Is Ranger more like a Chihuahua breed? She's, yeah, she's like a Chihuahua. She's very, very small. Oh, wow. I will, I will find a picture. I will find a picture for her to show you. But that's my favorite. I don't know if that's allowed to have a favorite. Hope I will not be having favorite among my kids in the future. It's sorry, not with a Liberian mom or any mom. I'm Martha. I have here Nino Brown. Nino Brown is an entrepreneur in, in Minnesota, one of our major contributors uh, to the show. And uh, he's, he's helped a lot of our people out there. Nino, welcome to Lena Panorama. Thank you very much, Cousin, for having me. Let me say Cousin because when I say Cousin, sometimes people know. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. You have Raquel here, and uh, yeah. Raquel, you already know, is the one who, um, the 22-year-old who performed that jaw-dropping uh, uh, anthem at the Samuel Kanendo Sports Complex, and you saw the performance that she put out, and uh, that it has everybody talking in town. Um, talk to her. Well, you know, I don't know what to say. If we can find two, three, four, or five 
like her. You know, when I heard a voice, she was singing a national anthem. It just looked like somebody who cooked pepper soup, tobogi, all the soup that in Liberia, and everything was so beautiful. And the world leader then <laughs> taste, the world leader then taste that soup, and they say, "Yes, we going back to our country to cook that same yeah. soup because her voice resembled millions of things, and that the first ever." In my own view, Liberians that define the world, our national acting, and break it down the way how when the old man when they were to cook best you can bring it down with all the small, 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 small meat there, and you will understand that everything was perfect. And we want to say congratulations. And this is the joke that I tell my daughter, she was there. And I say, if you don't have the same voice of that girl, I will not buy your iPhone 13. He said, no, daddy, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was so, you know. So Nino's you know, wife so, is, uh, is Indonesian. And or or yes. or his kids, they look oh, just look like, like you. Like right. So yeah. I want, say, nice. I want to say thank you very much. Thank you for putting our country up there. Let God will keep blessing you. Thank you. And give you thank more you. You so wisdom much. and keep doing it. You have more. You have more. Our prayer will always pray for you, no matter what happens. Because what you have done is not easy to just define that national art and mess it up yeah. with so many things. They got a remix. Right. It was so difficult. Yeah. But God has lead you. And even the world leader, that I was singing on stage, and you know how the people can sing the national art and all the whole crowd. I'm thinking so all oh, hell because of the piano, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations, wow. my girl. God bless you. All right. I'm so happy, you know. Thank you for having me, Mr. Wiz. Thank and you so cousin, much. Thank you so much. Yeah, cousin, yeah. after the show, my please call me, man. I will. I will. Okay. okay. Thank you. I will. I will. Okay. Okay. Uh, like what, like what, like what Nito was saying, uh, which brought me into questions about tabloids. You know, once you're in the music business, there always has to be something that people will say out there that is not just true. Give me three things that have been said about you in the musical industry that you think that you need to put to rest. Um, like for example, you know, a lot nowadays we have a lot of um, Instagram influencers, just beautiful women that they don't have talent. They just come there, show their body, take pictures, and, and you know, they don't have an art. Some people are dancers. Some people are singers. Some people, um, you know, are humanitarian. They help, but, but some of them just come and you. So I often get misunderstood as, oh, she said she, she, she's fine. She just bring a pretty face to show she can't sing. They always say, I can't sing. So Come on, you look at you doing that a cappella right now. Right. So thank you. I'm thank blown you. away. So, you know, God, God time is the best. I believe in God so much. And I know, like, he will shut my enemy's mouth up without me even saying anything. Look at the honor I was giving to come and yeah, sing that. Yeah, right? it was like the Super Bowl. Yes. We've never had that in, in our country history. Where we go, we have an arena or a dome or uh, in the stadium, and you have one person go to the microphone. I felt like I was in I was in America all over again, watching a Super Bowl on Sunday, eating some Doritos Ooh. there with uh, celery and dips and so forth, mm -hmm. and and watching maybe Beyonce or maybe Jenna Jackson or something, you know, singing the Super Bowl. And you know what it means among the artists. And I think I delivered. You did. Impeccably, flawlessly, you. you did. Thank you. I I had to I had to deliver. I had to do my best. You know. Um, I got to the stage in the beginning. I was a bit nervous, mm -hmm. but I had to own it because I was there for about ten minutes before the whole thing started. And and I got comfortable on stage. I settled on stage mm -hmm. before I now perform because I had to wait for the program to start. So. Aside from that, uh, they say, so aside from them saying I can't sing, they say my eyes are fake, which my eyes are not. <laughs> <laughs> they say I'm wearing lenses, so 24-7, so 
for the past how many years I've been wearing lenses every day. Yes, so you got fake eyes. Yes, say that, and then they then. Okay, we have uh, for your talk. We have Nat Gordon. Uh, Nat, how are you? I'm doing great, Mr. Weeks, and you? Okay, and uh, um, you just join us. Tell us where you're joining us from, and welcome to Lena Panorama. And you talk to Akel. Yeah, I'm joining you guys from the beautiful uh, state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. To be precise, you in New Jersey. And I've been following you guys right here. Hello. Thank you so much for everything that you are doing. You know, I, I watched the boss attendant and then uh, I heard you singing. I was wondering if it was somebody from another country. But get to know that it's a Liberian that was doing that. Uh, my little advice is just keep your head up. You are going somewhere, and just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you Nat. So uh, that was not there with those uh, for words of encouragement. You heard Nat. Uh, what you what you said? What you said to Nat? Thank you, Nat, for your nice words. Those are very nice to hear. You know, um, it, it takes time for them to actually come on and want to say something positive to me. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for that, you know. Okay. Very thankful for we that. have uh, one controversial girl who always <laughs> from on the internet with a fun <laughs> open key. Her name is Tess, Tess, Tess. And she's on here. Tess, welcome to Lena Panorama. We have Raquel here, only 22. Thank I don't know if you saw her latest performance at the Summer Candle Sports Complex. Um... You have a chance to interact with this gem. I call her a gem. <laughs> you are safe. You are safe. Now, uh, Mr. Weeks, I just want to say that, you know, um, many Liberians don't really follow the Liberian music in Dutch case. So, someone is just getting to know Raquel as, uh, get to know Raquel when she first came to her audition for NTN Project Team Nigeria. I do, I've been following the library musical industry for a very long time. I know a lot of them, a lot oh, of like wow. have, have good voice that That's one of your like, fans. Yes. I think I started following them since um two thousand and four, something around there when all those you know, old, old musicians then were, you know, something I followed Raquel when she first auditioned for that NTM project theme when, you know, I first saw that a few people there that, you know, was no go in from because you know, sometimes when they're doing this audition stuff, people just feel that, okay, it, you know, this person, you favor this person, you don't favor, but sometimes there are some places you don't, and God don't want you to go there because he wants you to, you know, grow on your own. So I follow mm -hmm. her, I follow her, I follow a lot of like great mus uh, musicians, on um, what it is uh, from the project theme. I know a lot of them. I know a lot of like great musicians that Liberian bloggers don't even know. So, you know, I, I sometimes, like she was saying, you know, some things come out. Let me just tell you, I do vlogging on Facebook, even though it can be messy. But sometimes, you know, some, some things like, you know, um, people criticize you. It come in a different way. It come both negative mm -hmm. and positive way. But you just have to take it like that. You understand? There are some things you have to do. Even me, I, I do messy things on Facebook. People also come for me too. You understand? But there, there are ways you handle things because it's all it's all about entertainment. So if you understand entertainment, when people come with some, some negative news, can actually carry you far and it can break you. So it depends on right. what the person is going to be talking about you. You understand? So I just want to tell her that, you know, this is where God wanted her to be. That's why maybe she did not go for project film. Who knows she was going to go for project film? She's big. And I know, I know she have that voice for a very long time. I followed them. Swiss, another Liberian girl that I don't really see on the news. Her name is Miata. I don't know if you know her too. She's also a singer. I think she lives in the U.S. right now. Swiss, Nicholas, there are many, Mr. So with many Liberian platforms, Takun Jane and other ones. And I'm talking about vocalists, people that sing. People that think when you listen to the voice, you'll be like, wow, are they like the rings? So Raquel, you are doing wow. well. And, <laughs> and when it comes to the when it comes to people criticizing, you just take it because as far as you, you become celebrated, just know people are gonna really, really talk about you. Right. But the negative thing will always make you strong to become a better person to say, I must push them, they are saying this about me. I am gonna push myself to you know to be this person. You understand? The vlogging where the blogging where even we the bloggers we find it difficult that the bloggers don't like the bloggers are just coming up, they don't know a lot of library. Like I said, I follow library music for a very long time 
so I go and Mr. Weiss, thank you for bringing her on our play. Pray you bring another librarian musicians that librarians don't even know about. You understand? So that's it. So just, just know that your interview is going on the blog. So don't even talk about blogging before. <laughs> 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 so that's thank it. Thank you know. so much, Dad. Yeah. Thank you so much, and God bless you right there. Thank you. That's, that's, uh... Thank you so much, dear. Yeah. So she, she knows, because I went for the uh, audition for for Project Team at the time. And even before I went for that, we were uh, doing size on competition here. The mm -hmm. UN were um, hosting it. Mm -hmm. And I reached to the final. I didn't win, but I, I reached to the final. So I, I started this one journey a long time ago. That was 2011. So she's talking about way back. Right. And a lot of people are saying that... Uh... You know, some of the bloggers are asking that uh, they want this particular video because uh, they want to post it, they want to repost it. And so, guys, you have the go ahead. Just keep sharing. Um, I don't have to send it to you. Keep sharing. Let's go to Edith's topic if we get to Edith, and maybe we can take. Uh, so I couldn't add Edith, so we're going to add Joseph. If we add Joseph, uh, we couldn't also add Joseph. Okay, we're adding Amos. If we get Amos, and then uh, we're going to go to Rock. We're going to wrap it up. Amos. Hello? Amos? Yeah, are you hearing me? Yeah, I see a fire extinguisher behind you. That Yeah, are you hearing me? Yeah, I see, I see a fire extinguisher behind you. This tells me you're not in Liberia. No, I'm calling you from uh, Iowa right now. I'm heading to California. I'm an 18-wheeler driver. Right, because we'd have caught our fire here with rock. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. I, anyway, I hope, I we have Raquel I, here. Yeah, but... Yeah, we use... We use rock and sand. Anyway, we have Raquel here. Um, and so talk to her. Uh, I don't know if you follow her latest piece. And uh, we're going to play again for you uh, just joining us. We're going to play that national anthem song right after you. And uh, But I want you to talk to her. Well, firstly, Raquel, are you related to the late Tony Hodge that was living in San Nicole? Um, I don't know of the late Tony Hash that was living in San Nicole, but I'm related to the Tony Hash um, from 18th Street from Sinkor. That's my uncle. And then the funny thing about it is the Hash family in Liberia are yeah. all related. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. It's just one Hash, okay. and we spell it in okay. HD. If, if, so. if you are related to the Hash in Sinkor, then that's, that's one of the brothers that were in San Nicole. He was my former workmate. But but mm -hmm. yet, yet, yet is what I want to do for you. Okay? I got a, I got a son-in-law here in the United States. He lives in Philadelphia. My son-in-law. I'm a little guy, mm -hmm. looking young, but I'm an old guy. I got a lot of beautiful daughters, and the young guys are after them. I got a gift for you. If you're willing to accept this gift. Are you willing to accept this gift? Pop, let's, let's let's hear it. Maybe let's you're about to give her a baby snake, and she will not want to hold it. Another dog, because no. all my chickens. Oh. My, my, my. The dog is breeding. <laughs> I are, you, are you willing to hear this game? Let me hear it, Okay, the game. The game I have for you, I got my son-in-law, he's a producer. He's going to create a beat for you in, in American style. And he will send that beat okay. to Mr. Wee, and you're going to create your own lyrics to match that beat. And if you match that beat, I'm going to ask you, or true Mr. Weeks, I'm offering you this offer, that you will come here to the U.S. and you will produce a song, if that song go well. I can connect him with you to introduce you to Mick Mill. Mm. 
You know who Meek Mill is? No. He's a rapper, yes. Meek Mill was the former boyfriend of Nicki Minaj. Right. She's, she's a rapper, I know. Yeah, she okay. knows that. Okay, so I'm going to talk to him. His name is Michael. He's a producer, song producer. He creates beats for singers. He creates beats for a lot of the rappers here in the U.S. So he's my son-in-law. I'm not telling you he's my friend. My stepdaughter, that's her boyfriend. They're supposed to be getting married this July. And if you watch, if you follow me, you will see me in that wedding this July. God gave her a long life. He's a producer. So I can connect you with him. And he can produce any beat of your style for you. Whether in Liberian, Koloqua, in American song, he can produce the beat for you. And you can go from there. And when you go right, we can see you performing with Mick, Mick, uh, Mick Mill, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna. Even though they are all pregnant now, like you said, you're not, you're not willing to get married now. That's a good one. <laughs> Be like Nicki That's Minaj, nuts. Nicki and Rihanna. <laughs> They are all in their cherries, <laughs> and now they are pregnant. Follow that for He step. didn't say that. That's a good one. I'm <laughs> that you're not willing to get married now. Don't even be serious for any boyfriend right now. Follow your dream. I love girls' children. Yeah, I like that. Just 22. My first, my first daughter is 25. She's older than you. So I pray that you live your dream, and I'm willing to support you. I'm yeah, I like that. To a right lot of people writing that she should follow her dream. And I'm going, call, I'm going to call Mr. Weeks, and I will connect Michael with Mr. Weeks right after the show. Be waiting to receive a call from Michael, and he will talk to you, and you're going to tell him the kind of singers you are, and he will produce a beat for you. Why are you in Liberia? He will produce the beat, okay. and you will match that beat with your song that you want to sing. If you, if you match that lyrics. beat, I'm saying it. I'm going to call Mr. Weeks. Right after the interview. Thank you so much, uh, brother. I see Siata is asking to be connected. So thank you so much. Let me let uh, uh, let me let uh, 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 Rakia to res right. Let me let Rakia to respond. Uh, Rakia, what do you say to the brother? That's very nice of him to say that to want to connect me with the producer to get because nowadays you know we have to pay for beats so if the beat is free yeah, especially for where it's coming from yeah you know um, yeah. let him talk to Mr. Week and you know they will send me the song I'll write the lyrics I'll record something and send it back and I do my work like this quick 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 so Siata is asking that I connect her we have over 800 plus persons watching at the time. Uh, Yen and Kamel is saying yeah. dance, dance, dance. Uh, Josephine Domar with that saying congratulations. Go sleep, uncle. Uh, let's hear you. Hello? Oh, yeah, how you doing? My man, are you a web account you using? No, I want to my phone too. I was expecting one woman face. No, I don't know, but I, I try to connect to the to talk. Okay, but thank you. Anyway, introduce yourself. A uh, beautiful background you got there. Uh, introduce yeah, yourself. I and... Yeah, I can see that. I don't want to make this boring, but uh, I hope I will try to get the story behind her because I just joined in. I saw it live. So... Okay, thank thank you so much. And I like uh, I like the brother. He say he don't want to bore the the, the conversation. And uh, okay, here's the answer. Siata was asking that I that I bring her in. She's been crying, 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 crying. So let's get Siata on here. And then uh, if we get Siata, then we'll play the song, and then you can close up. Okay? okay? We'll bring in Siata. We'll play the song, and let's hear. Hello. Hi, Mommy. Hello. Oh, uh, Hi. hey, daughter. How are you? Um. I just got out of my bed. I'm not well, but I'm in. I, I'm here in the house and uh, in in my little area here. However, I saw your video because I always follow the 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 happenings in Liberia. And Mr. Kwame, I want to thank you for such a brilliant job you do for us, bringing the 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 the, the news and letting us have the updates of what's going on in Liberia. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm in the U.S. And uh, and daughter, 
let me tell you something. Uh, music, especially if you're an artist, is a special gift from, from God. And Kwame was wondering how you write the lyrics, but it's something that comes instantaneously. You can be looking at something, you're in the bathroom, and as a musician, from my experience, I know how it comes. But I just want to encourage you to let you know that we backing you, we care for you. But one thing I want you to remember, be humble, okay? Because if you be humble and you follow the way how God is going to lead you and how people are going to support your, your, your ministry of music, you will get to where you have to be. Yeah. But another thing another in thing. music that I would have to advise you, don't be hasty to do anything. And there's a legality part in that music. When you write your music, when you uh, produce your CDs, and it starts to sell if you have a producer, you have to have a little lawyer, a personal lawyer, that will advise you what legal steps to take. That's because right. if they're gonna sell oh. your if they're gonna sell your CD for ten dollars, you wanna know what percentage you're getting from that ten dollars. Because a lot of musicians here in the US have been very, 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 very dope about that and they lost millions and millions of dollars as the late Michael Jackson. There will be people in your life that will criticize you because music is not anything to play with. But don't mind the noise of the market. Don't be too sensitive, okay? And don't answer to every little text or anything you blog out there because people will get at you. And so we Liberians, I really want us to really, 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 really love each other. It's something about us. Wow. We never appreciate when somebody is successful. We never appreciate because I can understand some people, they, they never got to be where you are. You know, and because they feel bad about wow. themselves. So that's how they yeah, that's how they react to people they always have. Because some people, I tell you what, some people they never experience love as a child. They come from broken homes, and that's why you see a lot of people that come from broken so I mean broken homes, they cannot express love. Because why nobody ever taught them love. But you know, wow, I just wanted powerful. to encourage you. Thank you. you. And when I listen to your verse in music, well, we, you have that contractual verse and you also have a do set verse. Keep up the good work. Don't get discouraged, but be very no. careful how you do your music, okay? Get to know the material, you know, get to know the business of it, okay? And Because I don't want you to be working for people for nothing, okay? But thank you so much. Thank I don't want you. to keep you. We love you. We appreciate your, your, your career. And we pray that you get up to that top where you belong to be. Take your time in marriage. Take your time in, in dating. Focus on your career, okay? Okay? Oh, thank you, you so much, mommy. We love you. Yeah. Focus on your, so uh, on your career, okay? The man, let me put it in like this. Yeah. Um, so let's play it. Again, let's play it. The song I dropped it. Or the national anthem? Yeah. Which one? The national anthem. We're well, going to go over it. The one that's on the thing in the people's head. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of the of our country's history. Liberia. Peace and prosperity. 
It says uh, Raquel Hodge, R A Q U E L H A G E, and that's Raquel Hodge. You see it right there? I just put it uh, in the middle so you could see it. And uh, I just took to her from the day I saw her. Somebody's calling from Maryland. She looks like Rihanna. No, she looks like herself. Come on. People usually say <laughs> this girl is more beautiful than Rihanna, you know, right? Even my man, when I know fun woman, oh, he's still talking to me. <laughs> wow, let's see, Attila, somebody's watching from Indonesia. Uh, 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 I'm Lebanese. My mother is by, says Mimi Benu. Oh. Uh, Mr. Weeks, I'm running behind you to interview me for days. 
Remember, tomorrow you will run behind me on an interview. Precious, sorry, mom. Uh, keep keep calling, and I'll pick your call, sorry, precious. So you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook with this name, Raquel Hajj. Um, you know, I always respond to people. I try my best to respond to people. I right. have content coming up. I'm always just waking up in the morning singing live. I go live singing, you know, and I try to just interact with the audience. Right, right, that's good. All right, uh, again, Raquel Hash, she's only 22 with that beautiful, beautiful voice. Um, days ago, she was the one who dropped that jaw-dropping performance. Well, Kwame Opa Weeks coming to you live here from the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs, and Tourism. Guess what? In one or two hours, we will be around the Sophie, old Sophie ice cream area. And uh, it's going to be about a story of a boy, young guy, believed to be in his mid-20s, uh, a bike rider, who, according to him, that uh, this guy bought a bike for him, and then he took the bike out and got robbed, and they took the bike away. When he went back to tell his bus that uh, he got robbed with the bike, the bus said, no, you stole the bike, and you have to pay. And he was beaten unmercifully to almost death. And uh, we're going to go there. It is he say versus he say, and we're going to know the truth. But the idea, the fact remains, no one should apply mob justice. To. We have the police here. And again, that's Raquel right there in your screen. Goodbye, guys.